Today, I'll be showing you how to set the time on a Seiko GMT watch in up to three time zones. I'll be demonstrating this on a Seiko SSK001K Boy GMT. However, most of these steps can probably be applied to other GMT watches out there. First, we're going to set the time and date correctly. This Seiko GMT watch has a crown located at 4 o'clock with two pull-out positions. As a general rule of thumb for automatic watches, do not set the date when the time is showing between 9pm and 3am as this can damage the date mechanism. Pull out the crown into the first position and rotate the crown anti-clockwise towards yourself to change the date. Make sure to set the date one day before the current date. I'm recording this on the 5th, so I'm going to set my date to the 4th. The next step is setting the time. Pull the crown out into the second position and rotate it clockwise away from yourself to turn the time forward. Once you pass 12am, the date will tick over from the previous date to the current date. In my case, it will tick over from the 4th to the 5th. Remember to keep in mind if you're setting your watch in AM or PM time. Then press the crown in once you have set the watch to your current time. I'm going to set my watch to 3.40 PM. Next, we're going to set our GMT 24 hour watch hand to the current GMT time, which I'll show you here on my phone. Pull the crown out into the first position and rotate the crown clockwise to get the GMT hand to move in one hour intervals. And I'm going to set mine to the current GMT time I just showed before. The GMT hand works on a 24 hour clock, so I'm going to set it to 6 a.m. This is the second time zone we've set on our watch. To set the third time zone, we're going to utilize the bi-directional rotating bezel. In GMT time, each time zone has a code that is read from 0 to 12 in a plus or minus. New Zealand time is plus 12. So I'm going to turn my bezel anti-clockwise until 12 indices have passed the 12 o'clock position. The number that the GMT hand is pointing to on the bezel is the current time in that time zone. In this case, New Zealand is currently at 6 p.m. That is the third time zone we've set. If you prefer not utilizing the rotating bezel, you can alternatively set the GMT hand to the time zone you would like to keep track of. You would then be displaying your local time and another time zone. We hope this video has helped you set your Seiko watch correctly. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If you'd like to check out some great watches like this Seiko GMT, check out shields.com.au for more.